I'm Louis Morel. I'm the director of the Advanced Economies Division here at the Bank of Canada. So because Canada is so connected to the world, what happens in other countries have a large influence on our economies. A lot of the jobs that are here in Canada are dependent on what's happening elsewhere and through the import and exports. Mon nom est Pierre Pion. Je travaille pour une firme d'envergure internationale. On a près de 75 sites d'exploitation dans une trentaine de pays. En Asie, en Afrique, en Amérique latine, en Amérique du Nord, en Europe, au Moyen-Orient. Et on gère l'ensemble du cycle de vie des produits. On participe donc à toutes les étapes, la conceptualisation, la conception, les tests, les simulations, la fabrication, puis l'entretien et même l'élimination du produit en fin de vie. Let me give you an example. A loaf of bread is made of different stages. First, uh, we produced here in Canada a lot of wheat. This wheat is turned into some flour, the flour into some dough, the dough is baked, and then we get the loaf. The loaf gets distrib distributed to all the supermarkets in Canada. So each stage of production constitutes what we call the value chain. If those stages are actually uh, produced in different countries, then we have a global value chain. En gros, on profite vraiment des atouts concurrentiels de chaque pays pour rentabiliser au maximum la fabrication de nos, nos produits. So just like you, I like playing video games. But one thing you have to realize is that the console and the television set that you're using for those video games are produced and manufactured in Asia. So here's an example how the global economy affects you.